Hello, good evening, welcome, this is Tony O'Keefe. Today we're going to analyse a uh, drawing of Piglet and Pooh, done by the genius E.H. Shepherd. And we're going to look at some of the uh, techniques and processes that Shepherd has done to make this incredible masterpiece of a drawing. First of all, perspective of lines on the floor and the ellipse on the half of the table on the right hand side there help to describe the plane. Shepard created a believable and three dimensional space in which these objects can exist with perspectival devices. Um, the directional shading uh, under Piglet's chair there not only describes the space but also the plane of the floor as well. Um, space and depth is described with different line widths. Um, so, for instance, the scribbly things in the background on the door and the mantelpiece and the clock uh, help to contrast with the strong lines that describe, for instance, the uh, Pooh's outline. Pooh's outline has also been drawn incredibly brilliantly to describe fur. That's why that line is broken. And um, these three light lines up on the top right-hand side there, they are all you've got to suggest that this is an attic room. Shepard has put a dark box behind the chair, Piglet's chair, in order to push it out, and he's put some pattern down there on the bottom right-hand side to describe the curvature of the table and the, the tablecloth, and also to bring our eye down into that right-hand corner. He's directing the viewer's eye all over the picture using these different devices. Uh, the variety of lines, like I said, helps to describe the space from the um, poo in the foreground to the directional lines on the back of the chair as well. That helps to describe the form of the chair now, how the chair is um, turning away from the viewer. Triangular composition, of course, everything fits in and beautifully into the lovely triangular composition so your eye is directed around uh, the picture. The width of Pooh's body from his back to his little fat stomach, uh, that, that measurement reappears everywhere, so it appears um, five times along the bottom, it's, it's the five times the width and four times the height, and like I said, the measurement of Pooh's body from his back to his stomach appears everywhere, on the back of Biglet's chair, uh, from the space between um, Pooh's head and the top of the door, and everywhere. Uh, Shepard um, was a, a genius, an absolute master of uh, pen and ink drawing and uh, we can learn an awful lot from him, from the incredibly economic way that he's described the fire and the steam and the fact that he's only used seven lines to describe Piglet and yet Piglet's got character and, um, and so we can learn an awful lot from Shepard. I hope you've learned something today. Go and spend some time with E.H. Shepard. He's as good as Rembrandt. Thanks very much. See you next time. Bye bye.